If you have not read this book by William Coning, Eye to Eye, it's about the presidents of the United States dividing the land of Israel all the way back to Richard Nixon and all the calamities and misfortunes that have come to our nation because of doing what the Bible says that you're not to do. The Bible taught, it was prophesied, there would come a time in the end that Israel would be restored to the land. And that happened in 1948. America was the power that allowed her to become a nation again. But around the time of Richard Nixon, things started happening to overthrow the nation of Israel. And uh, it starts with just uh, Nixon being thrown out of office. Uh, and th this fellow, William Coning, who's a very well-respected reporter in Washington, D.C., has written this book that was written back during the time of uh, George Bush number two, uh, 2004, about all the different things that's happened to the presidents, America, every time we've divided the land from Carter, uh, uh, Bush, Bush one, Bill Clinton, hundreds of things calamities from natural disasters to scandals have come upon this nation because of trying to divide what God said don't do. See, if God is real and the Bible is real, is real and they are, Jesus is the son of God. He's God in the flesh. Um, if you do what that book says don't do, it says there's a curse for doing that. And I'm, I'm bringing this to you tonight. If you don't have this book, you need to get it. It's called Eye to Eye. You will be blown away when you read this. That's all the way back to 2004. It doesn't have, I'm, there may be a new book since that time. But if you read from this book, 2004, back to Richard Nixon, you'll just be blown away and you'll go, golly, th there's just no way. That, you know, when does a coincidence, how many coincidences do you need before it's not a coincidence? And the Bible tells us in the scriptures that God's way is in the storm. Like, for instance, Hurricane Katrina. Uh, before it wiped out New Orleans, uh, Bush, number two, uh, got with Sharon and had settlers carried out of uh, uh, Gaza. Uh, had them carried out, was part of that. And, 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 and their houses were tore up. Their businesses tore up. The Palestinians moved in, just tore the place down and made a hell ho hell hole out of it like it is now. But what God allowed, Katrina came and, and, and tore that place up and uh, killed nearly 3,000 people. Uh, I, I had a dream a month before Katrina happened. It was going to happen. It's documented. I'll keep journals. I'll show you one in a minute. It's not just I, but thousands of Christians around the world who pray, who keep prayer journals and write stuff down, the things the Lord tells them. There's no doubt that God did it. It was payback as a warning. God says he always sends warning before judgment. But I'm bringing this up because we're, we're sitting here in America right now, and, and, and all the years I've been a Christian, I don't know if openly America's been more, ever been more ugly toward Israel uh, from Kerry or somebody right up at Obama's level calling Prime Minister Netanyahu a chicken, quote, spit. You know what the word is. And then when the defense minister of Israel came here for five days, Obama, the Muslim, and uh, uh, the vice president, Biden, uh and the Secretary of State wouldn't even meet with him, just snubbed him. The whole time, it's during this time that Obama is sending secret messages to Iran, the people who say when they get a nuke, they're going to blow Israel off the map. Well, here's what I'm saying. We're sitting here with a storm that they started repeat, re reporting on about a week ago in uh, a, a typhoon going to hit Alaska. Uh a, a weather event that they don't have on record ever being up there like that possibly 50-foot waves coming into Alaska. 
But this guy, the scientist that was reporting on Charlie Rose's program said that uh, America's the bullseye. From what they can tell, this storm is going to hit America. And, and, and like if you go out and get this book and you read this book, it will blow you away that God responds every time that America does Israel bad. Because, see, uh, I'm not scared of the Muslims or anybody else, even the devil. My God is God. Jesus is God. But Israel's the apple of God's eye. He, 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 uh, he loves the Jewish people. And so he, he's bringing them back into the land, like he said. And, uh, I mean, the Bible ends up in the end where God's going to have to whoop all these nations that's trying to destroy Israel. And that's where we are at now. The Bible says, look for the return of the Lord when Israel's surrounded by our enemies. This is what's going on now. And we've got a Muslim in the White House. He's intent on giving the keys to the city of America to somebody, whether it's the Russians or the Arabs, let alone uh, allowing uh, uh, the Arabs to build the bomb to blow Israel up. But God's ahead of that. It ain't going to work. Uh, fury's coming, but I, I'm not going to be the least bit surprised if this storm that they're saying is going to hit the United States of America. We've, we've never seen nothing like it. And so I just, uh, the name of this book is I, I to the, eye to eye, eye to eye, when God gets eye to eye. You know, you want to mess with Israel, you're looking into the eye of God. God, you're eye to eye with God. Your enemy, you become God's enemies when you play games with Israel or even God's people, Christian, whatever you want to call it, one way or another. But it's by Bill Cohen. K-O-E-N-I-G. And uh, uh, William, actually. And uh, it's, it's, it's facing the consequences of dividing Israel. That's what the book is about. But I would suggest anybody that loves the Lord and loves the nation of Israel, loves prophecy, and wants to know what the Word of God says and look at some facts, this is the book you need to read that was written in 2004. And there's many updates from this. You know, I know a lot of you, you know, you're busy. You have families. Uh, you don't get to pay a whole lot of close attention to a lot of stuff. You don't keep journals and prayer journals. You don't take notes of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that you just don't know. But there's other people like this man, myself, and other people all over in the body of Christ who do do that. And this is easy reading, very easy reading. It's good to read. I would suggest that you get it and read it. Let me give you, let me show you something. This journal here is the five binder, five ring journal. Uh, and I've got 22 of these. Uh, that I've filled up with dreams and visions and signs and wonders over 30 years of being in ministry. And uh, of, of telling me these things before they happened. It wasn't, I just didn't have a dream and and remembered something. But, you know, I, I, I've prayed and I've written stuff down and I paid attention to patterns. You know, talk, even talking about weather patterns. You know, these guys, the scientists can look at this weather pattern that's going on getting ready to hit Alaska and saying America's a target because they understand weather patterns. They pay attention to it. They forecast ahead. Well, I, even Jesus said, you know, he said, he told the scribes and the Pharisees, the scribes and the hypocrites. I mean, you can look at the sky and tell what the weather's going to do. But you can't read the signs of the times. Well, a pastor or a Christian, somebody loves Jesus that pays attention to take notes, they can read the signs of the times. And right now, America's in grave danger. Not only because we have a Muslim in the White House, but because of this trying to divide Israel and treating Israel bad, and what may be heading to us this week, coming across Alaska, this super typhoon that could throw us into a deep freeze, and only God knows what. Jesus is Lord.